It is time to strip out the old hot water tank from the bathroom and the header tank from the loft. I thought I might as well show you how I go about doing a job like that. That's what you have a shower in. Hiya folks, welcome back to the show. I'm Andy Mack and you join me. Mid renovation of a 1920 semi-detached house and this needs a lot of work doing to it. There's a whole load of building work planned before that building work can start. I've got some preparatory work I need to get done and part of that involves ripping out the old bathroom and that also means ripping out the old hot water tank and the um, header tank out the loft and whatnot. I've already isolated the electrics, so I know the electrics are safe, but we need to sort out the water side of things. Let's crack on. So, I've already switched off the water supply. This is still connected to our old lead supply, but if the door goes, <laughs> that'll be Northumbria water, hopefully coming to connect up the new, brand new MDP supply. But we are still fed through the lead supply at the minute, so that is off. And I'm also just going to depressurize it as well. So I've just got a bucket here. This is literally, that's just what's in the pipes, basically. I'll leave that going. I'll leave that open, actually. And then any water that's in the pipes will hopefully just drain into that bucket. Off my mic. Oh, strip a lot of this out. So I'll quickly explain what's going on here. I'm no plumber, but I understand vented systems like this. Basically, the hot water is completely fed by gravity from the header tank up here. We have got um, the cold water supply coming in over here. So that is the cold water supply. So since the water is switched off, I should be relatively safe to cut that. And because I've got the tap left open downstairs, any water in that should drain down rather than up so that is safe to remove this is just a vent pipe um, I'll not go into that we've got the overflow so that plastic pipe over there is just an overflow god knows where that goes but that can just be disconnected and then this uh, down the bottom here that copper pipe there is the cold water feed to the bottom of the hot water tank. So basically that pipe goes all the way down uh, through the hole underneath my light stand there and it goes down into the airing cupboard and it goes into the bottom of the hot water tank and then the water heats up in the hot water tank and then the hot water comes out the top of the hot water tank and feeds the house. So you can see we've got a little bit of water left in the, in the bottom of this. This is actually, this is quite a new tank. That's gonna be tricky to move. There's quite a lot of water there. I think what I'm gonna do, I'll disconnect everything apart from 
the, the feed out of the bottom. And what I'll do, I'll cut the feed above the hot water tank in the airing cupboard and I'll then drain out what's left in this from, well, into a bucket downstairs and then this will be a little bit easier to move because, uh, I mean, it's empty, but I don't want to try manhandling this out of the loft hatch with, it's still got a couple of inches of water in the bottom, so we'll try and get that out. Oh, this pipe cutter is rubbish. It's great if you want to put a thread onto a pipe. I might have to hacksaw this. You can tell I'm no plumber. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's try again. I need it to stay in a straight line. So I've cut, that's the, um, was the feed into the hot water tank and I've cut into that and all I've done, I've just put a bucket underneath it, if you can see the bucket, and then I'm going to gently, carefully tilt the cold water tank to empty all the water into that bucket and then we can get it all taken out. Of course, we still need to drain the hot water tank because this will be full of water. Uh, we'll come to that in a minute. Cut the overflow pipe off. And, fingers crossed, we should hear the water going into the bucket. Good as it gets. I'm gonna cut that pipe off now. I've left my pipe cutter downstairs. Oh, I'll just use that. That's all. One pipe. Right, so I did record cutting into the feed for the hot water tank and uh, draining out the tank, but um, the battery went flat and I think I've lost the footage. So uh, uh, you'll just have to trust us that the pipe that was coming down here, I basically fed it into this bucket and drained all the ugh, all the horrible sludgy water out of the header tank, which I'll now pop down the drain. Look at this. Ugh. That's what you have a shower in, in a vented system like this, boys and girls. Nice. So no, I won't be keeping that. Uh, next job, well, I need to get that tank out of the loft. Um, it's empty now and it's all disconnected. As I say, I did film it all and I've, I think I've lost it. I to do too many things at the same time. So yeah, header tank is now completely disconnected. I've taken that old feed pipe out. That is ready to somehow manhandle out of the loft. That should be interesting. Let's try and do it without spilling it everywhere. There's only a tiny, tiny bit left in the bottom. Fairly confident I can do this without pouring water over my head. Fairly confident. It's quite a big loft hatch, actually. Mm. Is it still done? Oh yeah. If you ever wonder why it's a good idea not to drink the hot water out of a vented system like this, 
That's why. Right, tank out. Job's a good one. There we go. Look at all that space. Awesome. I can take all these pipes out from underneath, apart from the overflow, probably. We'll see. Uh, but that's easy to deal with now. So, time to get the hot water tank out and I'm gonna need probably my hacksaw. And I might need those end stops as well. So, uh, let's grab those. I wasn't sure if I'd need the end stops. I didn't need them in the end, but uh, always handy to have some in your pocket when you're doing this sort of job, just in case something goes horribly wrong. So the slightly trickier bit in all of this, so remember a hot water tank, water feeds in from the header tank through that pipe into the bottom of the tank and then the hot water comes out of the top of the tank. So this tank is therefore still full of water and very, very heavy. So what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to cut this pipe here just to let air get in. I've deliberately left this tap on so that I can control the flow and I'm going to try, luckily it's on like a flexi pipe thing, so I'm going to try and bend this round to a bucket and we'll try and drain the tank using a bucket. We'll try that. Uh, it's going to be one of those things that um, it could easily go horribly wrong but uh, we'll, we'll give it a try. Where's my axle? I brought the hacksaw down specifically for this job. I wish I could, I can't film because uh, there's not enough room, but I'm just cutting into the pipe at the top of the tank. Water shouldn't come out of this. It's gone. Need me bucket. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get enough room to, to do this. I might be able to turn the tank round a bit now. Nope, it's so heavy. Come on, see if I can get this round the bucket. Look at this. Right, I think this might, might just work as long as I don't kink the pipe. There it goes. So, how big's this tank? It is. I have no idea how many buckets is this going to take. 120 litres. So it's going to take 12 buckets, theoretically. To empty this. Oh, actually, you know what? That's going to take forever. I think I can just put a pipe on that straight into the shower. That would be much easier. So shower's just here. Let's do that. Let's do that. See anything but turn the tap on. Oh yeah. That is working splendidly. As I say, I've just got joined on with a little bit of uh, speed fit. Uh, you can't see mom's in the road. So we'll give that uh, five minutes and uh, that'll drain the tank out with any luck. Amazing how long this takes. <laughs> In about 10 minutes now. I'm just trying to keep that pipe as low down 
as possible and I should try and keep this end as low down as possible as well because hopefully it will kind of siphon what's in the tank out if I can keep this end nice and low hopefully can't be that much left good lord mm, this is going to take the rest of time I'll come back once it's empty right that's as empty as it's going to get so all I'm going to do uh, again it's hard to show you the tank I can feel it's quite light now I can potentially move that so I can cut this plastic in feed pipe off and get rid of that these electric cables are dead by the way but there we go now it's time to try and manhandle this out here try and get these cables out the road for a start Hope it fits out. <laughs> they might have built the cupboard around the tank. That wouldn't be the first time. Hmm. Might have to. Gonna have to take the door off. I think. There's still a little bit of water left in the bottom of this, so I need to be a little bit careful. Of course, it would be wrapped around this. It is out. And interestingly, the, uh, the floor is rotten under that. This has been leaking, or well, certainly a tank has been leaking, whether it's this one or an old one. Fairly confident I can get this downstairs by myself. It's not that heavy. not that heavy it's just it's awkward because it's got water in the bottom still I don't want to uh, I want to keep this this pipe needs to be kept upright where'd I put the tank the header tank honestly stuff vanishes in this house from up here, extra, extra height to drain, it's only a little bit left but go, just a little bit of water left in it, that'll drain out and that is us done and dusted, jobs are good. Any questions pop them in the comments, hope you found that useful. On to the next job. See you next time. Take care. Tidy bye.